All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Earth energy, financially secure, emotionally secure, and likes being single, okay? This is the Bachelor or Bachelorette card. Likes being single. This could represent you. It could represent somebody you're interested in. What's interesting, Pisces, is couple things, high level, astrologically speaking. We just had a full moon in Sagittarius on June 9th, and then at the same time, Jupiter went direct. So Jupiter is the great benefic planet of our solar system. So when Jupiter's uh, retrograde, it can kind of cause things to slow down or take longer to come to fruition. So now that it's direct, things that we've been working on for the past three, four months will quickly either progress or quickly not progress. Okay, you'll have some sort of resolution on that with respect to any aspect of your life, but specifically with respect to love, since I'm talking about love readings, uh, you will have a quick resolution of this relationship's not going forward or we really can't take this to the next level, okay? In terms of like committing to a partnership or whatever, something will solidify or clearly will not solidify. That happened. Now, also, some with this whole first year, with all of these retrogrades, the eclipse that we've had, the eclipses that we've had, it's been kind of crazy. So what we're kind of seeing now with this Jupiter going direct is anything that was happening six, seven months ago, you'll see resurfacing, okay? And there will also, just like with the past three or four months, there will also be a culmination of will this move forward or will this not move forward, okay? So you'll either get closure or you will continue something from a while back. Okay. All right. In your recent past, a couple weeks, maybe a month, month and a half, justice reversed. You may have put a lot of effort into something, Pisces, that you may have actually been very excited about. And for whatever reason, Maybe it's because of everything I was just talking about, but for whatever reason, it's just not really working out in your favor. You're not getting what you want, okay? This card can also represent divorce. It's not coupled with anything that does mean divorce, but it can. It can mean losing arguments. It can mean uh, losing assets and money, okay? Contracts not getting signed. So you're coming from this confusion, and I and I did talk about that specifically with where we were kind of waiting for Jupiter to go direct, but uh, you know that could mean that for you, Pisces, there's going to be some doors closing and then potentially some doors reopening that could very very well be extremely interesting to you because it's something that you weren't really expecting or anticipating at all like it just came kind of came out of nowhere and all of a sudden um, there's something interesting okay and you have here in your central position for the next few weeks Pisces the Emperor okay this is the card of Aries so if it's not an Aries person specifically it's a very fiery energy Okay, somebody that manages their own life, someone that's kind of hot-headed, but in control of their direction, fearless, optimistic, uh, they can be spouty at the mouth, but doesn't really bow down and apologize too much because they just, like, they know who they are and they're just doing their life, okay? But they also, that's one reason, Pisces, why you are kind of a really good energy for a person like that because they bring fire into your life and you bring emotional stability into their life. So you're kind of a really interesting balance that tends to, you see it a lot. I get a lot of private readings 
that are water sign, fire sign uh, readings. And it's interesting because there tends to be this commonality amongst that group of people that there's a strong connection and a kind of a need for that balance or that need for that excitement. So you just kind of are drawn together. And if you can figure out how to make it work, it can be very successful. So there might be a fiery energy that's starting to communicate more with you. They're opening up to you. Okay, Page of Wands. This is the card of Sagittarius. So happy, excited, maybe a little egotistical, but ever possible. Okay, yep, he's looking over the fence. He's really excited about what's next. Okay, And he's going to go and make sure that something does happen next. All right, so interesting. What's grounding you, Pisces, for the next few weeks is the death card. So there's been something, something in your life is coming to a completion. And this can very well mean some sort of spiritual uh, transformation, emotional transformation. You may have health-related things that are coming to a close and you're going to feel like a whole new person when you're when you're through it just because you could be like not having to worry about it anymore. Okay, so there's a major transformation. Now I love this. I love this death card so much because if you look at him, he's one, he's on a dark path. Okay, clearly coming from a dark space. And or you are, okay, you're walking up to him. And it's as if he Okay, physically fit, taking care of his body, and kind of spirit's been through the ringer. But he's reaching out to you and he's saying, look, you've done the work. You're now ready to proceed. So come with me. I'm leading you to the light. You're ready. Okay. So while the death card in general always does mean major transformation, this is also a sign that says you're ready for the transformation. It's not forced. He's saying, come with me. You've done the work. So whatever aspect that relates to you, Pisces, it's a beautiful thing. Now, Page of Swords is in your crowning position. This can be an air sign. Now, I know Pisces have had quite a bit of air and earth and fire. There's like this revolving theme with you with air signs and earth signs and fire signs. Air signs and earth signs and fire signs. So, again, here we have it, an air signs with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now, this, the Page of Swords can really represent a very kind of immature energy, but it also represents stalking and spying and information gathering. So someone could be watching you that is an air sign. So just kind of be on the lookout for that. Uh, you may like it. I don't know, but there's kind of this, somebody's watching. And it's not something that's new. It's somebody that's kind of from the past. Now, this is what's interesting, Pisces. The Ace of Swords reversed. The Ace of Swords represents clarity, extreme hatred, extreme love, extreme passion, extreme understanding. When she's reversed, one, those things are not to any extreme. And two, there might be no, there might not be any clarity about the situation. So... This person may be causing issues. This person may be causing issues. You may be waiting till you feel like you can really move forward with something. Okay? But right now, she's looking towards the past. So right now, Pisces, there's not any real clarity into your love life. And there's some immature antics going on. And somebody also that represents someone of importance to you. But it's almost as if you're just kind of enjoying your single life right now. Okay. Now, how your partner or love interest or love interests are viewing you, Page of Cups reversed. They're viewing you as somebody who's not communicating. And they may also be choosing. No, not this isn't how your partner views you. This is how you're viewing your love life or your partner. You're not communicating. You may be viewing them as somebody that doesn't communicate, somebody that doesn't care to communicate, okay? You're thinking, they don't seem like a very warm type of person if they're not, if they're choosing to not communicate with me, right? So you're thinking about this lack of communication on some level. 
but I'm really sensing Pisces it's because you've one you've kind of been through the ringer there might be some lingering stuff still one and two you're kind of going through this transformation you're kind of waiting till you come out on the other side now how your partner views it is they are viewing the situation as there's just no love there there's no passion okay this can also represent that there's no new love because it's old love so that can be also your hopes and fears three of swords reversed so you're really hopeful that somewhere along the line on somewhere you've gotten some information that you thought that possibly somebody was cheating or that they were cheating but you're either hoping that that's over now or that there's no not going to be any sort of third party issues anymore okay this this card can also represent a breakup so when it's reversed you could re you could be hoping that there is some sort of reconciliation with somebody possibly an air sign possibly a fire sign now in the outcome though pisces we have the knight of pentacles reversed and this means that you are not doing anything you're not putting forth effort into it if some maybe you have the mindset of if somebody wants to be with you they're gonna have to make it known but right now you're kind of done with putting forth a lot of effort and energy into your love life for whatever reasons. I mean, you have your reasons, Pisces. So, yeah, you're just kind of living your life. You're enjoying your time and your space, and that's it. All right, what are the additional messages for Pisces? Love life for the second half of June. Additional messages for Pisces. There's a decision to make. Make sure you don't make a rash decision. But whatever decision is made, it's probably going to be, it's going to heighten your... This is a card of being like really rash and like angry words are said. There's a fight. There's an imma very immature energy. Okay, this is a very immature energy, just like the Page of Swords. So, like, you're definitely needing to make a decision about this, but whatever decision you do make, this other person's not going to really like it and they're not going to go away. Okay, the Six of Swords needing to go on a journey and get some clarity calm down they're not going away they're not going to calm down okay sword 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 so there's an air energy aquarius libra gemini it's an immature energy you're not winning but neither are they and they're at they're kind of acting like a fool and you're kind of waiting for them to make a decision but you're also needing to make a decision but it just kind of seems like it just doesn't get better okay it just it's not, it just doesn't seem like it's not getting any better, okay? And then it's like it's not going to change. Now, grounding or in the foundation of this section of the reading is the Knight of Wands. So, again, the, here's this fire sign that is somewhere, like they're making effort. They're putting forth effort, okay? And this is a really strong, positive, happy, optimistic person that's charging ahead and happy about everything in life. This person is conniving. This person is sneaky. This person jumps to conclusions. This person is not trustworthy. This person, uh, like, is super, super sneaky to the point where they're going to stalk you to get information to use against you. 